Unusual situation last night. Uh, can you kind of tell us what happened, uh, the timeline of events? Absolutely. At approximately 12:25 uh, a.m., the Atmore Police Department received a shots fired call uh, on Carver Avenue uh, at the um, Assembly Hall, uh, formerly known as uh, Club Chickadee. Uh, when officers arrived on scene, they noticed numerous people fighting outside, uh, as well as fighting on the inside of the club. Um, after establishing some order outside, they learned that three people had been shot inside the building. Uh, at that time, uh, two of the gunshot victims were transported to Atmore Community Hospital. Um, they were told that there was still one uh, remaining gunshot victim inside the building. Officers uh, went in and provided uh, medical assistance to the victim uh, until the ambulance arrived. Uh, the ambulance arrived and transported the uh, victim to Atmore Community Hospital where uh, actually two of the victims were life flighted to a medical facility in Mobile. Uh, one of the victims is in serious condition. Uh, the other victim is in critical condition. Um, <clears throat> uh, one of the victims had multiple gunshot uh, wounds. Uh, one of the victims only had one. Uh, there was a third uh, victim that was treated and released at Atmore Community Hospital uh, with a, a gunshot but minor injury. Can you say anything about were there kids in this nightclub or was it teens, adults, uh, the demographic sort of age-wise? <clears throat> Basically the victims are all adults. Um, uh, it is our understanding, just preliminary reports suggest that uh, there was some fighting inside the club between a couple of females. Um, then some of the males uh, interacted and uh, shots were being fired. Now, our investigative team has been out basically all night and most of the day. They've been to Mobile to speak with one of the victims uh, to try to get an account of what happened. Um, they are back. Uh, they are in the process of uh, collecting all the witnesses and uh, to give statements. Um, when the officers arrived last night, a lot of people fled the area, so uh, we're in the process of uh, identifying people that were there to get statements from them. When it was Chickadee, uh, it was closed down, right? Yes. Was uh, it closed down because there were problems like this? Uh, because of numerous incidents in the past with juveniles drinking and also uh, assaults in the parking lot. Uh, they recently, uh, within the past year, uh, re regained the right to open up uh, as a, a, a community center or an event center for parties and such. Uh, there's no alcohol being, or uh, there's not supposed to be any alcohol served there. However, there were alcohol uh, that was documented last night by officers. Yeah, we saw hundreds yeah. of bottles outside the, the yeah. assembly hall. Yes. And so this is something that somebody had possibly rented out to host this party or whatever it's was happening last night. my understanding, that's what that building is being used for is to rent out for parties and, and such. So it's not per se a nightclub anymore, like a, what would normally work every it's night. Listed, it's listed as, uh, uh, you know, an event center uh, for parties, uh, not a bar per se. I mean, this is uh, unusual probably for Atmore to have a triple shooting at, a, I mean, at an event of some sort, even though it's in the middle of the night things happen, but it seems unusual. Uh, it's very unusual for Atmore. Uh, this is a well-tight community and everybody knows one another. However, from time to time, uh, you know, places like this and all over the world happen. Uh, you know, um, you know we're, we consider this, you know, very serious. Uh, uh, we do have a suspect uh, or a person of interest uh, that we are uh, actively seeking. Um, and we hope to identify that individual and arrest him as soon as possible. What's your message to the people of Atmore? Should they be concerned that this person, a person of interest, is still out there? Any time a crime is committed, hope to have him in custody soon. Do you have a, a, a description of the suspect? Uh, I'm not giving that out at this time. Uh, I'm not giving the, uh, the victim's names at this time. Um, and then 
you had said that, you know, obviously there were people inside of the club when, or excuse me, the event center when this all happened. Do you know how many people were there? Because, I mean, somebody opened fire with a bunch of people in the line of fire, it sounds like. Uh, the officers reported to me uh, that it was somewhere between 100 and 150 people inside the club. For an event like that, would you normally have to have a security guard hired or some sort of security present? The, they are supposed to have a security firm uh, on site. Uh, while um, they're open for business. Does, are you guys, um, are they being cooperative, the people who are own the event center, are they being cooperative with you guys? What's what so far they've been cooperative, however, you know, this investigation continues. Uh, we'll be looking at all aspects uh, and um, hopefully we'll have this resolved as soon as possible. Those people who are in the hospital in uh, Mobile uh, University Hospital, are they expected to uh, survive? Or, I mean, are they are these really very serious injuries? Uh, one I can tell you that uh, is serious uh, is is very serious. Uh, the the victim uh, has multiple injuries uh, and has gone through a couple of surgeries. I understand uh, today, and they expect to have more surgeries tomorrow. And I know you're not giving identities, but can you say man, woman of the victims? All victims were male. Male, okay. And I mean, with that many people in the event center, I mean, we've had several shootings at clubs and nightclubs recently. And I mean, just recently as last week um, in California, is this something that's concerning for you? Because it happened here in Atmore. I mean, it's it wasn't the same magnitude, but somebody opened fire where there were 200 people. Absolutely. It's very concerning to me. Uh, people expect to go to uh, these establishments hoping to have a good time, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, to turn out that, um, you know, gunshots are, you know, flying out in the building, you know, is very concerning to me. Um, I can tell you that, uh, you know, we, we will be pursuing, um, you know, looking at all aspects of this case including the owners and uh, uh, in order to, to, to make sure this don't happen again. Sounds good to me. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, Thank really you. Really appreciate it. We really Sunday. Sunday. Appreciate, appreciate you. you spending something. We know you didn't get much sleep last night. No, I didn't. <laughs> and I have a two-year-old. Oh, my gosh. Oh. So. You don't get much sleep. So for those of you who are just joining us, I'm here in the